Okay. For the record, would you please state your first name? Linda. Alright. How long have you known me or seen me? Three years. Alright. What are two things I always talk about? <laughs> and what God has planned for us. Okay. So I know in my book, I'm pretty sure you gave me 40 bucks to date. I think you gave me 30 the first time and then 10. So I have you invested and your co worker who's invested. What's her name? Linda. Okay. <laughs> The L &L. Yeah. About how many hours do you work a week? About 80 hours. 80? Yeah, I know you do. On average, how many days a week? Seven. Seven. How many great grandkids do you have? Right now, I have 11 great grandchildren. How many grandkids? Seven. Okay. How many people live with you? There's 14 of us all together in the house. All right. Would you say that you're the the mama hen in terms of the reason you work so hard is for them? Yes. It takes an army to raise a family. Yes. And, uh... Do you have any investments outside of what you've given me? No, sir. Does this, does the job you have have a retirement type plan? Yes. That we'd have to borrow against you. Right? <laughs> well, either way. All right. What is your favorite thing to do? And you showed me your newest great grandbaby. Yes. And she's how old? She's two weeks old. Two weeks old. All right. Let me think. When the Lord multiplies, my new prayer is, Lord, how much do you want to multiply this? Uh as far as currency goes, you told me you kind of liked a certain kind. Remember I brought those coins in and... Oh, I forget the name of them, those little coins with the things on them. Yes. Well, you told me you really like silver. Yes, I do. You kind of have a collection, somewhat? Yes. I have a small collection of silver. Hi. Hey, babe, how are you? I'm all right. So... When you get some deposits, Lord willing, would you want some silver? Yes. All right. Uh, would you say you have some level of financial stress? More than some level, yes. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh, gosh. Okay. I knew there's something else I wanted to say. Oh dear. You told me a story about when you met your husband. Oh, don't, no, I'm not telling that story. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. You also, you told me a story about growing up. I can't remember at all, but it was, I don't know if it had to do about how it wasn't convenient. I don't know if we're talking about washing machines. Or there's something you're saying when you were growing up that y'all didn't have something that we would think is basic. It's like you had to, because my grandma, they didn't have washing machines and refrigerators until most people had already got that. But you told me some story of it was hard growing up, but you didn't know it was hard. I can't remember. I mean, it was hard growing up then. We 
I grew up on a, we had a small farm. So we had the chores and the responsibilities every day as far as feeding and taking care of the animals and taking care of the house. And we had siblings that you helped take care of. And, and sometimes we didn't have a whole lot of food and we had a whole lot of beans and cornbread or beans and tortillas. Or I think that's what it was. Talk about what you ate, yeah. It's amazing what you can do with just a few items. I know that's right. We do it now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I wanted to do this interview. How I I mentioned this interview was coming, right? Yeah, but I didn't think I'd do it. <laughs> <laughs> You're very convincing. <laughs> yeah. Would you say I'm kind of like a pit bull and I I'll yes. latch on and I won't let go? Yes. <laughs> right. But that's a good thing. Okay. Because you have helped strengthen my faith, I guess you would say, because sometimes you start losing your faith, and it's been a joy having you come into my life and to encourage me so that my strength, my faith grows stronger. Amen. Okie dokie. That's it.